On Sunday, thousands of supporters of former Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro stormed Congress, the Supreme Court, and the Presidential Palace, demanding the Brazilian army restore the far-right Bolsonaro to power and oust the newly inaugurated leftist President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. Today, Vice President Kamala Harris condemned the attack on Brasilia after swearing in the U.S.'s newest ambassador to Brazil. Well, let's be clear. This was uh, a, an obvious and clear attack on a democratic process, and we condemn it, of course. Um, I will also say that, as I've said to uh, the ambassador, Ambassador Bagley, that I'm very confident in her ability to represent the United States and to extend uh, to President Lula uh, all that we mean in terms of the work that we will do together um, as allies on some of the most important issues facing our world. Here in San Diego, local Brazilians say they're devastated by what happened. It's a sad moment for Brazilians uh, overall. Roberto Rocha is a visiting economics professor at San Diego State. He says the rise of the far-right movement in South America is worrisome. It's a populism, and that's a bit of a, it's a threat to Latin America overall, and uh, we need to keep an eye on it. And doing this, in, you know, happening this in Brazil, it could, you know, it could pave the way to to some other countries, yeah, that's for sure. Crystal Bonova is the associate director for the Center for Brazilian Studies at SDSU. She says the images on Sunday were shocking but not unexpected. She says far right-wing groups have been publicizing their plans on social media. We know that people who are involved in the international far right movement, like Steve Bannon, have been involved in um, in coordinating with Brazil, uh, and so it was. Uh, it was, I guess it was surprising that it happened yesterday because many people expected an event like this would happen either uh, before the inauguration, like as an attempt to intervene in, in Lula coming to power. Abner Sotonos is a UC San Diego PhD student from Rio de Janeiro. He focuses on Latin American history, especially Brazilian history. He hopes that, unlike the United States, the Brazilian government will act swiftly to hold the insurrectionists accountable. I hope that the uh, Supreme Court, uh, the parliament, the president, and media uh, agree that we cannot have this situation again in Brazil. So I expect that the law uh, you be, uh, you know, put in practice. Alexander Wynn. KPPS News.